Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, also subscribe to my channel. Today, we will talk about best foods to eat reducing the risk of enlarged prostate. In Asia, China, and Thailand, where few dairy foods are consumed, there is a far lower incidence of both heart disease and cancer. Studies show that overall, men in Western countries have a six-fold increase in prostate cancer incidence compared to countries such as China and Japan. One theory for this discrepancy is the differences in diet. It is worth emphasizing that many Oriental countries such as South Korea and Japan are densely populated. They have been highly industrialized and urbanized for many years, yet their rates of prostate cancer remain much lower than in the West. The even more massive incidence is seen in the UK at around 30 per 100,000, yet higher rates occur in the USA, with a figure of about 120 per 100,000. In addition, there are studies of migrant populations that show quite clear increases in certain diseases like prostate cancer when ethnic Chinese become American citizens and their children and grandchildren adopt more of the American diet. Okinawa, Japan has traditionally had a diet based on lots of vegetables. Fermented soy products like miso, fresh fish, herbal tea, as well as health-supporting practices such as Tai Chi, Kai Gong, and walking. It is therefore advisable to eat a healthy and balanced diet that includes organic vegetables, which reduce pesticide exposure and offer an increase in vitamin concentration. Fruits and Vegetables Fruits and vegetables contain antioxidants, polyphenols, vitamins, minerals, and fibers that reduce may help reduce inflammation and BPH and improve urinary symptoms. Plant foods such as rice bran, wheat germ, peanuts, corn oils, and soybeans contain beta cetosterol, which may protect prostate health. One study looked at the link between fruit and vegetable intake and urinary symptoms in elderly Chinese men suffering from urinary symptoms. High intakes of fruits and vegetables, at least 300 grams per day, were associated with improved symptoms. Over four years, at least 50 grams of dark and leafy vegetables and 10 grams of tomatoes per day were strongly linked with improved urinary symptoms. Lycopene is an antioxidant that gives tomatoes their red color. A study published in the Journal of Nutrition looked at the effects of lycopene extract in men with BPH. Men took 15 milligrams of lycopene per day or a placebo for six months. PSA was significantly reduced in the lycopene group and prostate volume was unchanged after six months. Prostate volume increased by 24% in the placebo group. These benefits were exerted from lycopene from whole foods rather than as an extract. Lycopene from whole foods likely exerts health benefits that does not occur with an extract. Omega-3 Increased inflammation is one of the characteristics of BPH. More prostate inflammation is associated with more severe urinary symptoms and greater prostate volume. One clinical trial found that omega-3 supplementation with drug therapy was more effective at improving urinary symptoms and reducing prostate volume than drug therapy alone. The participants given omega-3 consumed 900 mg per day through fish oil capsules. Moreover, omega-3 fatty acids are known for their strong ability to suppress inflammation. Seafood provides rich sources of omega-3. Therefore, increasing seafood intake or supplementing with omega-3 may help reduce prostate volume. Vitamin D a study in the United States reported vitamin D deficiency in middle-aged men increased the risk of moderate to severe urinary symptoms. Thus, vitamin D may play an essential role in preventing BKH. However, clinical trials have not been conducted to see the effects of vitamin D supplementation on BPH and urinary symptoms in men. A clinical trial in females with urinary symptoms reported positive effects of vitamin D supplementation. The sun's our primary source of vitamin D and there are very few natural food sources. However, some natural resources from which you can get vitamin D include egg yolks, fatty fish, and fish liver oils. Milk, margarine, and some cereals are fortified with vitamin D. People who live in northern regions of the United States are at a higher risk of vitamin D deficiency, especially if they spend most of the daylight hours indoors. In such cases, vitamin D supplementation should be considered to prevent deficiency. Animal fat as far back as 1997, the American Institute of Cancer Research drew a link between the consumption of industrially produced red meats like beef, lamb, and pork and an increased chance of the development of prostate cancer. These findings followed up earlier studies in the early 1990s by Harvard University. Harvard continually tested tens of thousands of subjects over a number of years. Today, current studies show that men who consume large amounts of non-grass-fed red meat are 12% more likely to develop prostate cancer than those who consumed moderate servings as part of a controlled diet. According to the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, PCRM, we get too much protein, about twice what we really need. 
Moreover, too much animal protein is harmful. Experts from the European Prospective Investigation into Cancer and Nutrition EPIC, found that a high intake of animal protein was linked to an increased risk of prostate cancer. Dairy To maximize milk production, cows are kept permanently pregnant and as a result have 200 times the average level of female hormones in their milk. Human beings are mammals and we share the same hormones as cows. Therefore, the effect of these hormones on the human body is not a good one. As discussed, consuming food with high levels of estrogen can upset your hormonal balance and increase the production of DEC, an active form of testosterone. This could lead to a number of health issues, including an enlarged prostate. Studies have also shown that dairy products contain the insulin-like growth factor IGF-1, a hormone that promotes the growth of cancer cells. Soy 90-95% to of U.S.-grown soy is genetically engineered to make soy protein isolate and so that it can withstand high amounts of herbicide. Soy protein isolate is in many products such as protein bars, fruit drinks, soups, sauces, cereals, supplements, and meal replacement shakes. This unfermented soy can hide under names such as builan, textured protein, and natural flavor. These worst foods for men link with thyroid problems, mental decline, reproductive problems, cancer, and heart disease. Instead, opt for fermented soy products, which are the only soy products with health benefits. Fermented soy products include soy sauce, fermented bean paste, miso, and tempeh. Drink green tea. There seems to be no end of endorsements of green tea as an all-conquering superfood. The prostate is just one area of the body, and studies show it can help. Studies show that green tea can help prevent prostate cancer from forming and may even slow the growth of aggressive prostate cancer. In an American study from 2014, a sample of men was given a diet of green and black tea extracts each day for 12 weeks while others received a placebo. Taking measurements, the researchers found that those receiving the tea had an improved quality of life in as little as six weeks, as well as improved urine flow and decreased urological inflammation. Enjoy a morning coffee. There has been some controversy surrounding the benefits of coffee for prostate health, the study showing conflicting results. However, a recent study revealed that two compounds found in coffee, coatyl acetate and kefestyl, may help to slow the growth of prostate cancer cells. The results are preliminary at findings of several studies, most recently the 2018 study, indicate that coffee compounds can benefit prostate health and possibly reduce prostate cancer incidence. However, it is essential to note that for some men experiencing BP, coffee can irritate, stimulating an already overactive bladder, increasing urinary frequency and urgency. Limit alcohol consumption We need further research to establish the relationship between alcohol consumption and prostate cancer risk. However, it is possible that drinking excessively can increase the risk of developing the disease. Alcohol should also be avoided if you have prostatitis as it can irritate the bladder and worsen symptoms. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching my video.